and welcome to another installment of this micro camper conversion. Uh, in this episode, we are going to be looking at doing some of the electrics uh, under the bed. I'll uh, do a time lapse of that as well in this video. And I'm going to be looking at starting the kitchen side of this, the other side. But obviously, to do that, I'm going to be taking the majority of this uh, this bed out. Uh, I made the front. The, the front. Um, these are support legs that uh, are going on the front. Uh, just a quick look down here. We've still got the. Uh, the opening there to get the port potty in and out and there's a bit of a recess here we'll have two uh two sockets there one's going to be a 240 socket and one's going to be a usb in there i think um just have a look under here where the electrics are going like i said i'm going to take the bed fronts out of this while i'm doing the electrics and obviously it's going to be easier for getting in and out of the van as well while i uh i make the sink but the electrics are going down at this point here i've got the 12 volt in that corner i'm going to be putting a a charger unit in there. I've, I've upgraded to a 20 amp charger rather than sticking to the 10 amp. I've got a bigger battery to go in this one. I've got a sealed 110 amp uh, leisure battery going in this and its own battery box as well, which is all all in this area at the front. Uh, and I've got the uh, the consumer unit to go in there as well. Um, I've uprated to the 20 amp because I've got the bigger battery and with the motors that I'm going to be fitting to the roof. Um, for the elevating roof, I wanted a bigger battery. Was, obviously, I wanted to upgrade the uh, the charger as well just to be on the the safe side of that so we've got the split relay got to be wired up 12 volt 240 the charge of the battery and everything so that's all going to be done on a bit of a time lapse and then we'll we'll move to the other side for the kitchen so we'll get straight into it i'll set the camera up we'll do a time lapse <music>
Right, okay, so we've got the majority of the electrical system set up now and wired in. Uh, I'm going to tidy these wires up a little bit later on. I've got a bit of boxing in for do that, but get rid of them. But a uh, bit of a breakdown what we've got uh, installed. This so we've got the 240 there, we've got the hookup coming in, and that's supplying the power to the charger, 20 amp charger. And we've got two more wires coming off, which go to the sockets. So we've got one at the back of the kitchen, we've got one comes around here as well there's going to be a 240 plug and a, and a 12 volt going there as well uh, so that's the 240 side of it like i said going into the charger that's going into the the fuse part here so everything's fused going to and from uh the leisure battery uh them two boxes at the back there they're the controllers for the um for the electric uh roof uh so basically you've got um a remote there that you can switch uh on which will let the roof go up uh, and another one to bring it down. Um, we've got four actuators that we're putting on this, but these controls will control two of the actuators. So they've got, uh, they're controlling two each, but obviously we've got the one remote to control all that. They have got a manual override switch as well, if needs be, um, and it will come with a backup remote. So there'll be two remotes with that one as well. So like I said, we've got the fuses in there. I've not got the blade fuses in there yet. So we've got the laser battery and we've got the chargers uh, for these control units as well. One for the charger and for the fridge as well. Uh, what you didn't see me uh, fit on the video behind here, I've put another relay on. Uh, so obviously I've got a split relay on this. So when the ignition's on, um, obviously we're charging uh, the ledger battery and we're going to be able to run the fridge as well on that side of it but what I also wanted to install in this particular model was one uh, we've probably seen it on the surgeon kits and the CB kits and things like that when you turn the ignition on uh, the lights in the back of the conversion shut off and it's a safety mode and for, for whatever reason if this does go for a type approval test um, to Vosa uh, to change the logbook or anything like that uh, that's one of the requirements so I've installed um, a relay in here which will make that happen uh, so as soon as you switch the ignition on, uh, the back half, uh, the lights and things like that will, will shut down. But the leisure battery will continue to charge as will the fridge while it's running. Um, I, when I was installing that, I didn't set the camera up. I forgot about that one, so I apologise for that one. But that is installed behind there as well. Uh, so that's a, another feature I've, I've added in this one. Um, I'm not going to install the battery at the minute. I'm going to leave this front out for the... Uh, for the bed because I want to uh, I want to make sure I can um, measure up and set up everything proper for the kitchen side so I'm going to get the fridge out I'm going to get uh, a bit of plywood out and we're, we're going to see what uh, what the the setup is with the kitchen okay so just just a brief look at the the layout that the uh, the kitchen is going to be so obviously uh, on the older uh, micro campers I've done that that's where the fridge was was sitting it was just sitting over the center of that point there that was where the petition ended and that's what that sat up to so that was where the the fridge was located um obviously starting from the back we would have the uh the gas compartment with the bottle uh, right at the back so you've got access to take that out from the back you've got storage in here uh, in between the gas compartment and the fridge uh which quite a lot of room in there actually because i was in the uh, one of the uh, the water containers in there as well uh on top we've got the combination uh hob with sink we're going to have the control panel on this one as well uh normally would have put it in the locker above but with this uh roof lifting up and down um i needed it to, to be at the front of the kitchen on that so that's one of the changes on this now then um once the bed's made up obviously it comes up to that that fascia so you can't access your fridge uh when you're in bed so on this one i'm going to turn this one round I'm going to sit it a little bit further back up to that point there so the petition what was here will come a few inches further back avoiding that as well but one it gives us a lot more walk uh room for for the walkway part another three or four inches which is is going to be you know really needed in a micro camper but once the bed's made up you've still got access uh to get to the fridge and also if you've got this sliding door on you can get to it from outside as well so i think it's a bit of a no-brainer really um it's going to exit that way so we've got access at all points of when the conversion's being used so i think that's what we're going to do um i'm going to start setting i'm going to do the rest of the video for the for the kitchen in the uh, in, in the next video um I've also got another video coming up, which will be on the bed slats. Uh, I've had a lot of questions uh, asking how to measure up, how to make them, and things like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do another in detailed video on the on the bed slat, uh, bed system uh, side of it as well. I've also got the uh, the roof made, um, and the actuators have come in. So I'm gonna be 
probably showing you that one on the next video as well to, to keep you updated on that roof side of it but yes so we've got the uh, the kitchen we're starting the kitchen the electrics have, have been finished off but for obviously the battery and the, the control panel in the kitchen but obviously once the kitchen's made that'll be finished off but if you've got any questions um anything regarding the conversion or anything else don't hesitate to send me a, a question through the, the comments section or even through instagram if, uh, if you're on instagram as well but many thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much bye bye